entitled. So chapter three entitled Science Technology in Nation Building. So what are the learning outcomes for this chapter? Of course, to explain how early Filipino applied scientific principles in their daily living. We are now fi finished with the, the invention happened in ancient times and also in modern and mi middle and modern times. And also we tackled the Philippine invention. Now we are here to discuss uh, the, the happenings bet uh, between uh, pre-colonial and colonial period and colonial and post-colonial period. Another um, uh, um, objective is to present government policies on science technology and explain their importance of the nation. And last, discuss the role of science and technology in nation building. Guys, please um, remind me if it's already 8, um, 8.50. Please comment on the chat box. So first, uh, here again, I will be talking about the three periods, the pre-colonial period, the colonial period, and post-colonial period. When we talk about pre-colonial period, these are the happenings. These were the happenings before we are we were colonized by the Spaniards, American. No? So during uh, during this time, Filipino Filipinos already have um, inventions. No? They contributed well in, in terms of science and technology. So scientific and technological development in the Philippines. In the Philippines began in the pre-colonial period, magbatay sa kapoy ng mga Spaniards. But the, 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 sad, um, <clears throat> the sad scenario here, kasi ilang years ba tayo sinakop ng Spaniards? 333 three years, right? Napaka, napakatagal, 333 years tayo sinakop. So, makikita mo dun sa, ano, kung nakapunta ka na, kung hindi ka paletra nights, sa, hindi ka, hindi ka familiar sa Intramuros, makikita mo yung ganda ng Intramuros, contributed by the Spaniards, but we'll be talking about, uh, talking, uh, that particular event in colonial period. But here, um, in pre-colonial, bago tayo sa kopay ng Spaniards, no? Bago pa. So, ano yung mga nangyari? Actually, um, in terms of <clears throat> record keeping, wala tayong masyado. Wala masyadong Filipino, no? Mga Pilipino, wala masyadong hi, um, history. Bakit? Sinira ng mga Spaniards, eh. Yun ang, yun ang, kaya hindi natin na-preserve yung, yung, ano natin, history, yung culture. Hindi natin alam. Wala tayo masyadong alam uh, before the Spaniards came. Kasi pi, sinira nila lahat. Sinira nila. So, um, yun, hindi natin alam. Wala tayo masyadong alam in terms of our history. But, Ang hindi nila masyadong ang hindi nila masyado na sakop is the Mindanao, Mindanao, no? Kaya kung gusto mo makita talaga yung uh, yung pinaka pinaka ninuninunuan natin. Doon doon ka sa ano sa sa Benguet, no? Yung mga mata sa mundo, tsaka sa Mindanao kasi lumalaban yung mga Muslim eh, no? So makikita mo yung culture natin. No? Pero pag dito sa Luzon, no? Dito kasi yung event talagang sinakop tayo eh. So yung mga culture, history natin, no? yung identity of being a Filipino, sinira na ano, ng Spaniards. But before the Spaniards came, so what are the major contributions? What were the major contributions? So early Filipino settlers were already using certain plants and herb as medicine. Di ba may mga ano nga tayo? Mga... Kung makikita mo sa pelikula, may nagtawag, al albularyo yan. Albularyo, ginagamit nila yung plants and herbs as medicine. Dinadasal ang mga kung anong-ano at pinapahid. So, yun po, meron na tayong certain um, contribution like that. No? And it, in the past, it was acceptable kasi they don't have much technology pa eh. So, for them, it's effective. No? That's the practice. So, albularyo, uh, albularyo yung doktor nila. No? Hindi ka tulad ngayon, iba yung doktor ngayon, modern times. But during um, a pre-colonial period, it was acceptable. And also, they also have, um, in terms of farming and animal raising, di ba sa Benguet, kung makikita mo, di ba? Kung makikita mo, meron na silang farming system. Ang ganda nga, eh, di ba? Nakasama nga sa Seven Wonders of the World. Kaso natanggal na yung sa uh, Banawi Rice Terraces, no? natanggal na, napalitan na. So, animal raising, makikita mo na very ano sa agriculture, in terms of agriculture, Mayaman ang ano, Pilipinas, kung makikita mo. Diba? Then, moreover, early Filipinos also developed different modes of transportation, whether terrestrial or maritime. But this transportation, um, 
were adapted from other countries, no? But which uh, bought here, brought here in the Philippines. Kung makikita mo, pares lang yung katulad sa bangka, di ba? So, pares lang naman ang ano, um, uh, invention in terms of transportation. Kasi ang nagdala niyan, di ba nga, uh, um, the people in in the Asian uh, world, no? Or Asian times. Okay, and also, this one, this is the major uh, contribution of uh, Philippines during pre colonial uh, pre colonial period, which is the rice um, terraces. Na bana may rice terraces, napa ang ganda. Mga kapunta ka dyan, sobrang ano, sobrang ano, talagang mapapa wow. Wow, magic. Parang ganun talaga. Mas malamig pa, alam naman ng pinoy, basta malamig, masarap. No, kasi nga, it, it's very, um, it's seldom for us to experience, experience, um, cold environment, no? So here, uh, makikita mo yung culture natin, yung history natin sa Banawe, dito sa particular area na to kasi dito na nasakop ng Spaniards, particular doon sa Central Luzon, no? Talaga, pati sa, yung, of course, yung pinaka yung capital, yung Manila City. Or City of Manila. Okay? So, uh, that's the pre-colonial pre period. Let's now move on to colonial period. Guys, kung uh, talaga maganda, kung ganda mag-aral sa letra, no? Kasi yung, kahit maliit siya, kasi nga, hindi ka na makakapag-expand pag ikaw ay nasa intramuros. Bawal ka lumagpas ng fourth floor, no? Kasi gusto nila, gusto, ayaw nila matakpan yung Manila Cathedral. So, that's their policy. So, hindi makapag- makapagdagdag ng floors ang letran kahit capable sila. May kita mo sa mga STI building, AMA buildings, no? Ang tataas, mga 16th floor. Actually, kung kompoy lang, siguro ginawa na ng letran yun, nag-expand sila, no? Kaso, hindi eh. For the sake of uh, the history and culture of the Filipinos, no? We, we want to preserve that, no? So, during a colonial period, so we have two uh, colonizers which pertain to Spaniards in America. But first, let's discuss the Spaniards, the contribution made by the Spaniards. And you can see, uh, they, uh, they, are, they were the one who contributed walls, roads, bridges, and other large infrastructures. No? So, may kita mo yung mga walls, uh, bridges, no? um, in Manila City. Napakaganda talagang may kita. Actually, kung puro ganun yung ano natin, yung lugar sa Manila. Actually, maganda nga ginagawa niya eh ni Isko, yung mga informal settlers binibigyan niya ng ano, yung sa Tondo, Tondo, Tondo Minium, no? maganda yon kasi nga hindi mapaganda yung area dun banda sa Tondo tsaka Binondo kasi nga, kanya-kanyang lagay sila ng bahay, hindi masyado organized hindi maganda sa mata no? pero etong Tondo Minium, I think pagka nabigyan ng magandang bahay, yung mga informal settlers na maayos na tirahan Gaganda yung Manila, no? Actually, doon lang naman medyo hindi masyado maganda sa yung area. Pero ando kasi malapit yung, ano, yung city hall. So, dapat mapaganda talaga, no? Kasi pagbaba ng mga foreigners, Manila agad, eh. So, yun ang unang-unang nakikita nila. Kaya dapat maganda-maganda talaga yung Manila. So, yun. And also, they introduced uh, the, the educational system in the Philippines, but only principal pre, class um, uh, were privileged to undergo this educational system. So as you can see, more of the schools here in the, the Philippines are Catholic schools, no? Catholic kasi na-adapt nila to sa Spaniards, uh, sa, yes, sa Spaniards by the Spanish uh, government. So sila yung colonizer, you know? May kita may UST, Letran, mga ano yan mga Spanish schools, di ba? So, may kita mo, more, lahat ng halos ng mga school ito, St. Peter School, St. Paul School, uh, lahat may St. Uh, lahat, ano, Catholic school, halos lahat, di ba? So, ito yung influence done by the Spaniards, no? Kung may kita mo, yun yung contribution nila sa science and technology here in the, in the Philippines, no? Then, after Spaniards, we have American occupation. Yan, yung, yung, ano, yung PNU, Philippine Normal University, Technological University, um, Polytechnic University, UP, University of the Philippines. Kasi 1900s yan, American pumunta, American pumunta dito, eh, nag-colonize, no? 
So may kita mo, sila yung nag-establish na ano. UP. Yan, may kita mo. PUP, yung mga state universities ngayon, may kita mo sa Philippines, yan yung major contribution ng Ameri- American uh, period or Amer- Americano, Amer- American, no? sa Philippines. So, minodernize nila yung sa Span- yung ginawa ng mga Spaniards. Kasi sa Spaniards, yung mga mayayaman lang, prinsip- principal ya class lang ang nakaka-afford. But here, when uh, Spaniards came, ay, American, Americans came in the Philippines, ito, uh, ito yung magandang ginawa nila, no? For all. Pati yung health system, in-improve nila. Halos lahat ng ng uh, area in the science and technology here in the Philippines din develop nila mas maganda. So maganda yung contribution nila. So makita mo kaya nga ano kaya again I'm not talking about politics here no. Makita mo si Duterte medyo ganyan siya. Ini ini niya America at saka yung ibang countries na sumakop sa atin. Ito kasi yung China ngayon parang sinasakop lang tayo pero yung mga in Chinese dati, before, hindi tayo sinakop ng katulad na, ng ganyang ginawa sa atin, no? no? Nirape yung mga kababaihan, pinatay yung kalalakihan, no? yung ginawa ng Spaniards, Japanese, Amerikano. So, pero di natin pag-uusapan yan kasi this is more on a science and a technology. Then, post-colonial, after the, ano, the colonization, what happened? So one of the president who ushered the advancement in science and technology was former President Mark Cosno. So under his term, many agencies in science and technology were established and strengthened. So according to the history, former President Ferdinand Marcos and his administration contributed a lot. In terms of science and technology, I'm just talking about science and technology, not politics, okay? You have your own opinion, I have my own. So, we're not talking about your opinion and opinion, my opinions here. We're talking about uh, the uh, contribution made in science and technology only. Okay? So, as you can see, um, in his administration, many agencies in science and technology were established and strengthened, including National Kidney Transplant Institute, may specialization kada hospital for kidney patient, heart center, Philippine Heart Center, pag, uh, pag kayo nag-away kayo ni ano, ni ni Ramler, di ba? For example, like broken heart, broken hearted si Ramon, no? So, pwede siya pumunta sa Philippine Heart Center. Joke. Then, Lung Center. Then, yung ano, LRT. No, marami pa. Marami. Yung PICC. So, maraming na contribute in terms of science and technology. Yun ang maganda sana eh. Yung may kanya-kanyang specialization like yung ito, yung hospital, may kanya-kanyang specialization. Ang school, meron rin. Philippine Normal University, teachers punta doon. In terms of um, in terms of other other courses, for example, Mapua, engineering, doon. Hindi yung ano, isang school, ang daming courses na ino-offer. Sa Singapore, tatlong universities, it's lang ang nag-offer ng education. Parang ganon. So, lahat ng mga estudyante, pupunta doon sa school na yun kasi specialized sila doon. Hindi nag-aagawa ng estudyante. No? Mas maganda sa, ganun ang ginagawa ng ibang bansa. No? May kanya-kanya specialization. Pero dito kasi sa, Fil- sa Philippines, kanya-kanya eh, basta maka, maka ano lang eh, maka pagkaro- magkaroon lang ng business eh. No? Ginagawa kasi yung business yung, yung school sa iba eh. And also, um, Philippine Atmospheric uh, Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration in place ano uh, was uh, was established um uh, in in um kasi dati weather uh, bureau ang tawag diyan so pinalitan pinalitan ng Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration or pag-asa no mas inimprove then yung Bureau of Science pinalitan niya ginawang Department of Science and Technology as you can see yung buildings no DOST and uh, pag-asa mas inimprove mas inimprove nagkaroon ng um, weather forecasting no nagdagdag ng mga equipment materials for us to have this particular technology nag-improve nagano rin ng mga scientists no so ma- maraming ano maraming contribution in terms of science and technology sa panahon ni um, Marcos but again there are some no there are some but in terms of uh numbers no 
dito kay Marcos ang mas maraming na contribute. Na, ma, naka, naka-focus rin kasi siya dito eh. Pero other president sometimes naka-focus sa agriculture, sa 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 corruption, si yung to defeat corruption, kanya-kanyang ano, ah, uh, porte, no? So, that ends the the three periods under chapter 3.